Just 15 minutes from the regional hub of Bunbury, or two hours south of Perth, you'll find yourself in the charming historic town of Dardanup. Situated in the heart of the Ferguson Valley, it's the perfect base to explore the surrounding countryside, bushland and forests. With a history as rich as its future is bright, it's worth paying a visit. If you're wanting to discover the stories behind this 100-year-old Southwest gem, the Heritage Trail is the perfect place to start. Janice from the Heritage Collective Committee is going to make sure we're on the right track. What a beautiful town, surrounded by incredible scenery, farmlands. It's no wonder people are walking around with a smile on their face. Dardanup is a beautiful little country town and it's got a fascinating history with a uh, very strong 19th century Catholic settlement. When you come to Dardanup, we've uh, recently set up uh, the Dardanup Heritage Trail, which will tell visitors a little about the early settlement of Dardanup, but importantly also about some Noongar history. So we're at the first stop of the Heritage Trail. What else can we expect to see on the way? This is uh, a beautiful little building, the Old State School, built in 1896 and opened in 1897. But it's not the oldest building in Dardanup. Uh, that is the Thomas Little Memorial Hall. It was the original church in this town, the oldest Catholic church outside of the Perth area. And then down on the main street, we have three beautiful old commercial buildings, the post office, the general store, and the uh, Dardanup Hotel. While this town does have an incredibly interesting history, they are far from living in the past. The town is also looking to the future with the creation of the Ferguson Valley Art Trail. This trail will eventually include 15 public art installations, each reflecting the valley's theme of grow. The first sculpture, installed in February by local artist Andrew Fraser, is an interactive piece that showcases the beauty of the valley. With a nod to the growing wine industry and representation of the lifeblood of growth water, Andrew hopes that the sculpture will create a moment of pause and connection that will strengthen the community, both local and travelling. With history and art covered, there is just one thing missing. If you're after a bite to eat, don't worry, Dardanop's got you covered for that too. The area is quickly becoming a destination for food and wine lovers, with the area attracting visitors near and far.